All right, guys, good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to my channel here. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how I make a siren light out of the end of an ink pen. Uh, I've drawn some little corners here on my table so I could try to stay in camera, but this comes off a basic ballpoint pen. Uh, you just unscrew it. I buy these at the dollar, the general dollar. Any Dollar Tree, you can find them. Dollar Store, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, whatever. They usually come six to a pack, and I buy all six of them for like two bucks. So it's it's kind of worth it. Uh, the other component, again, another push pen. And we want the, the push pin with the with the larger end, the flat end that you use to set your thumb on. And then we have a couple of seven millimeter fashion jewels. And you ask why one of them is orange, uh, we'll we'll explain that in here in a little bit, but to get going, let's work on making a base for this. So we'll just take our push pin here just stick it on there I don't know I'm up maybe a quarter inch or so snap it off and then we need to take this end that we snapped kind of sand a little a small angle on it kind of hard to do right here with the camera in the way but Don't really know what kind of angle I'm getting, but we just want a little angle. Don't know if it's actually going to show up or not. The reason why you want an angle is because of the taper on the end of the ink pen. So when we super glue it on, it's going to set flush with it. I can get on there, right? But let's uh, dabble us a little super glue on this. Just a little drop. Try to line this up. We'll do that right there. We will let this chill out for a minute or two, and then we will be back and start installing our lenses. Okay, we've let this set for, I don't know, about three or four minutes. It's not going anywhere, and if we do happen to snap it off in the process, no big deal. I'll just stick it back on. Uh, let's talk about the small end first. As as you most of you know, Siren Light usually would have the the smaller lens on the back side. Uh, you've really got two options here, since that's a hole all the way through. You can either take a piece of uh, clear or red colored sprue, sand it down to where it just goes through the back end of it, which I've done. Sometimes it takes a little little effort to do that, but a quicker and easier way, we go back to our little tray of beads here. And if you pick the three millimeter clear bead out and just set it right down on there, we can color that with some Tamiya Red. And we have the red light for the small end. And that just attaches with just a drop of super glue. Just a hair. And 
Let me stick it on. Got a second or two to work with it. And see, we've knocked our knocked our base off. Maybe I didn't let it set up long enough. But no big deal. Stick him right back on. Pull it back here some. And when I get this completed, I always Molotov chrome this, the whole thing, blend it all in. Check, make sure it's in the center. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea if I had some accelerator, but I don't have any. Now to work on the lenses for the front, I like to stick these in my little clamps. The reason we have the orange is I have a whole, whole little thing here of, of different colored ones. You usually don't see an orange siren light, so I save those for this purpose right here. With the faceted side down, the chrome side up, you just drop it right in there. Push it down a little bit. And we'll add a drop of super glue to that. And then for our lens, another drop of super glue. And I take a clear one. If I can get it up here. Seriously. And we drop it right down on top of that one, okay? There we go. Now we've got a nice little bubble on the front of it. We'll color this in red. And then we will have our basic five minute siren light that is Really, really simple, really easy to make. Always when you take Tamiya Red, get you a nice glop on there. Stick it right on top. Then you just work it around. The thing with these Tamiya Clears is they work better if you do not actually brush them. If you just kind of plop the paint on, let it work itself around. It looks like we have a, a nice piece of glass in there. And then we will touch up the back side. with just a drop of red. And there's the back. So now we have a quick five minute siren light with a red lens on it that we can put on 
our fire truck. Or ambulance, whatever it is you want to put this on. It works out well. And it's a it's quick, it's simple. Just some uh some dollar store pieces. So we'll let this uh we'll let this set up for a bit. I'll clean my brush out and we will come back and give a demonstration of where we're gonna locate it. All right, fellas, we're back. This is where we've mounted our siren light on our 53 Ford fire truck. I know I said I was going to go with a Q, but I think this is more fitting. You can see it, the nice red lens in it. Try to get it around here a little bit. It looks the part. Again, what, what we're going for here is, you know, full in the eye. And for a basic five minute build, if you will, it uh, it really serves the purpose because there's no uh, there's really not much out there on the market for an item like this. It looks it looks really good. I like them. I've been making them for years. Uh, all this is the base is just a modified piece off of a, an ALF kit, but yeah, it should, uh, it should clear when, when you open a door. I did make, uh, make some progress on this today, by the way, I, I did get the, the mirrors made for it, put on, got both mirrors on and I did get it painted. It's, uh, Rust-Oleum 2X white. It's going to have uh, a bunch of red details on it, so it should look it should look good when it's done. All right, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hopefully, you can uh, try to make one. Like I said, it takes about five minutes to make it. It's uh, a dollar store pen, so you're not out a lot of money, and you can have this application on quite a lot of things. We'll see you later. Bye.